Doug and PA back with another one. Guys, if you don't know, I have an undergrad and a graduate degree in policy. That's where MPA comes from. I'm a policy nerd. I follow a lot of stuff in government. And I know a lot of people in the red pill space are like, oh, yeah, the government's bad. The government's out to get you. Yeah, well, every so often, they get it right. Look at this headline. It says, airlines required to refund passengers for canceled and delayed flights. That's right, guys. The next time your flight is delayed and delayed and delayed, you're going to get refunded cash. The next time you show up to the airport and your flight is canceled, you're going to get re refunded cash. These airlines can't decide how they're going to give it to you or how to, they're going to give it to you. No, they have to give you the full amount in cash. And this is from the Department of Transportation. And thank God, because if any of you have traveled during the cough, cough or since, you know how messed up. Um, f flying is right now between the, the continuing staffing issues, parts sh shortages, and then all these dumb routes that airlines make to try to s squeeze as many people on the plane as possible to, to still make money. This is fantastic for people that have to constantly travel and have to deal with delays. So we're going to get into this article. Before I do that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. It shows you support me and what I'm doing over here. And let's get into this. It says, good news for airline travelers. The Department of Transportation on Wednesday announced it is rolling out new rules that will require airlines to automatically give cash refunds to passengers for canceled and significantly delayed flights. Woohoo! Round of applause. This is a big day for the American flying public. Yes, it is. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg at a Wednesday morning news conference. And Buttigieg said the new rules, which require prompt refunds, guys, prompt refunds right away, are the biggest expansion of passenger rights in the department's history. Because the American public, we're tired of it, guys. We're tired of it. You go to the airport, your flight's canceled, and, and all these ways of tracking it, you, you check online. You know, flight is ready. The morning of the flight, you get there and the flight's canceled or it gets delayed and then canceled. You have a connecting flight and the plane hasn't got there yet. So they say an hour and then two hours and then three hours. So what's going on here? They're going to give you cash back, guys, for your troubles. This is great. Airlines can no longer decide how long a delay must be before a refund is issued. Under the new DO2 rules, the delays covered would be more than three hours for domestic flights and more than six hours for international flights, the agency said. This includes purchase tickets directly from airlines, travel agents, and third-party sites such as Expedia and Travelocity. As a word of advice, never book anything through Expedia or Travelocity. because All it does is add another layer. If you can book directly through the airlines, always go that way. The DOT rules lay out that passengers will be entitled to a refund if their flight is canceled or significantly changed, and they do not accept alternative transportation or travel credits offers. So don't accept the travel credits, guys. Don't do it, and you will get your cash back. DOT will also require airlines to give cash refunds if your bags are lost and not delivered within 12 hours. So that's another big one, guys. How many of you have had your bag lost? Or they put your bag on the wrong plane. I had a, a layover in Atlanta, and they put my bags on the wrong plane, guys, when, when I transferred flights. And yes, it took more than 12 hours. The refunds must be issued within seven days, according to the new DOT rules. It must be in cash unless the passenger chose another form of compensation. Airlines can no longer issue refunds in forms of vouchers or credits when consumers are entitled to receive cash. Airlines will have six months to comply with these new rules. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Once again, every so often, the government gets it right. We should have had this a long time ago. We can give you travel credits. I don't want travel credits. I paid for it on my debit card. Yeah, well, travel credits. And then sometimes they, they won't even give you the full amount of, of your ticket. Guys, that has come to an end. Passengers deserve to get their money back when an airline owes them without headaches or haggling, Buttigieg said in a statement. The DOT also said it, it also 
the DOT set is also working on rules related to family seating fees, enhancing rights for wheelchair passengers, d dignified travel, compensation, blah, blah, blah. Guys, this is great. The, the rules come after the agency handed Southwest Airlines a, a $140 million fine for its operational meltdown during the 2022 holiday season. So the Southwest fine sets a new standard for airlines and passenger rights. To be clear, we want the airline sector to thrive. It's why we put so much into helping them survive the cough cough. Honestly, it's why we're being so rigorous on passenger protection. So he's saying we gave them all money to stay afloat in the cough cough. So they owe us, the American people, by giving us our money back when they mess with us. I love it. Said the, the group said the 11 largest U.S. airlines issued $43 billion in customer refunds from 2022 to 2023, and nearly $11 billion in refunds just last year. This is great. This is great. I can't see anything wrong with this, guys. Can you? Like I said at the beginning of the video, share any stories of your flights getting delayed or your flights getting canceled in the comments. or did they, did something happen and you received a refund that was short of what you paid for it? Because I had that. Oh, well, we can give you 40% or 50% of your ticket. I'm like, wait, what? Anyway, let me know what you think about this in the comments. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you on the next one.